Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve A set December 2018 question paper. So as you know, your A set 2019 September exam is very near, which is on 14th of September. So before this exam, all you need is to check the previous year past past year question papers solved. So let us solve this question paper here. So as you know, in our previous videos, we have solved the mathematics portion up till question number 5th. So let us begin with our question 6. So here question 6 says the value of sine 105 degrees is. So we need to find the value of sine 105 degrees. So as you know, we have a table of values where we know the values of 0, then we have 30, then we have 45, 60 and 90. So we have a table including these values for all trigonometric functions, but we have no value given for 105. So what can we do here? As you can see, if we add 45 and 60, we will get a 105. So we can solve this as sine 105 can be written as sine 45 plus 60. Now we know sine 45, we know sine 60, then we know cos 45 and cos 60. So here we can represent this as sine A plus B formula. So what is the formula of sine A plus B? It is sine A cos B plus sine B cos A. This is the formula of sine A plus B. And here also we have this format only which is sine this will be A and this will be B or we can hold this as A and this as B it doesn't matter. So here we can see sine let's hold 45 as A so this will be sine 45 cos 60 plus sine 60 cos 45. Now we know the values of sine 45 cos 60 and sine 60 and cos 45. So let us put the values here. First we have sine 45. So what is sine 45? It is 1 by root 2 into it is cos 60. So again cos 60 is 1 by 2. Then we have plus sine 60. So the value of sine 60 is root 3 by 2 and cos 45 is again 1 by root 2. So if we solve this one we have 1 by 2 root 2 plus root 3 by 2 root 2. Since the base are common we will add the numerators which is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So basically this is the value of sine 105. Let's check the options. You can see in option C we have root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So option C will be our correct answer to this question. Now let's move on to our next question which is question number 7. So here question 7 says the sum of the finite series 1 2 3 plus 2 dot 3 dot 4 plus 3 dot and so on till n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. So we need to find the sum of this series where we have each each we have in each term we have three numbers multiplied in the format of n n plus 1 n plus 2 where n starts from 1 and goes till obviously n. So let us let, check the general format. First let us write the general term. What is the general term over here? We can assume our first term to be k. So let us assume our first term to be k and then the second term you can see if we add 1 to our first term we get the second term. So here we will add k plus 1 and again if you see if we add 2 to our first term we will get third term. So here we can say k plus 2. So this is our general term. This is valid for each and every term in this finite series. So here is our general term. Now we need to find the sum of these general terms where k is equal to from 1 till it is n. So it is starting from 1 and going till n and we need to find the sum of these. So we can write this as summation. Let us write here from k 1 till n and the term is k into k plus 1 and k plus 2. We can simplify this and write summation k equal to 1 till n and we can open the brackets and get our equation to be k cube plus 3k square plus 2k. Now we know we can divide summation in individual terms. So here we will have k equal to 1 till n k cube plus we will take 3 outside and then summation k equal to 1 till n k square plus 2 summation k. So now you can see we have first element as k cube summation of k cube. So summation of any uh, single digit summation of any single term 
is uh, to the power 3. So we know here summation of let us assume a cube. So summation of a cube which is 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube dot 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 till n cube. So this summation will give us n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square. So here also we have from 1 to n. So this will give us n n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square plus we have 3 multiplied. Now we have summation of k square. So this will be 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 till n square. So sum of uh, square terms we know the formula is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So here we will have 3 into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and our last term here is 2 summation k. So summation k means 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n. So the formula for this is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So here we have 2 multiplied already. So the 2 in the denominator gets cancelled and we are left with n into n plus 1. So here you can see we have got uh, equation including only n. All we need to do is simplify this equation. So as you can see in each term we have n into n plus 1 as common. So let me solve over here. We have n into n plus 1 common. So we will take it outside and we are left with n into n plus 1 by 4 as you can see here we have a n and we have n plus 1 whole square so n into n plus 1 gets in the numerator and we have 2 in the denominator so 2 square gives us 4 plus here you can see we are uh, 3 first we will get 3 then n goes outside n plus 1 goes outside so this is 2n plus 1 left divided by 6 and the last term here is 1 because whole n n to n plus 1 goes outside so Solving this further, here we will have n into n plus 1. Directly, if I jump few steps and go, we will simplify this as n square plus 5n plus 6 whole divided by 4. So, simplifying this again, you can see we have n square plus 5n plus 6. So, we can simplify this in two formats and this will be n into n plus 2n plus 3. This is the numerator whole divided by 4. So basically this is our answer to this question. Now let us check the options. It is n into n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3 whole divided by 4. So you can see in option number B we have n into n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3 divided by 4. So option B is our correct answer. Now let us move on to our next question. So here you can see we have, we have our next question, question number 8. So question 8 says the roots of the quadratic equation 2x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 r so we need to find the characteristic of the roots of this given equation so how will we do that how do we find the characteristic of a given equation for that we need to find the discriminant of this equation it is known as discriminant discriminant and it is given by b square minus 4ac where b is uh, the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x square whereas c is the constant. So we can find the b square minus 4 ac for this equation which will give us b square means 1 square minus 4 a is 2 and c is again 1. So this will give us 1 minus 6 which is equal to sorry this will be 8 4 into 2 is 8 1 minus 8 gives minus 7. So as you can see the discriminant of this equation comes out to be negative and minus 7. Hence, we know that this uh, equate the roots of this equation will be complex valued and unequal because we know if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, the roots are real, not complex. The roots are real and unequal. Whereas, if b square minus 4ac is exactly equal to 0 there is only one root and means it's double root so there exists only one root and the third option which is valid in this case is b square minus 4ac less than 0 so in this case roots are unreal or complex and unequal 
so this is the answer to this question that roots are complex valued and unreal unequal because our discriminant of this equation which is b square minus 4ac comes out to be negative that is minus 7 so answer is option number b now let's move on to next question which is question number 9 so what question number 9 says here is the value of x for the inequality x square minus 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 is less than x to hold r so we need to find the range of x basically the range in which x will lie so that this inequality holds so we can uh, use many methods for solving this so i will be using the uh, means the basic method which generally should be used so in this case we need to hold two cases we need to check two cases for these two boundaries for x so case one in case one what we will do is we will assume this denominator to be greater than 0 which is positive so case 1 x plus 1 is greater than 0 so if we assume this what will we get over here we will have x square minus 2x minus 1 will be less than x into x plus 1 if we multiply x plus 1 both the sides now solving this we have x square minus 2x minus 1 less than x square plus x further solving what will we get is x is greater than minus 1 by 3 so this is the condition if we hold x plus 1 less uh, greater than 0. So basically this condition holds true. This condition holds true means x plus 1 is greater than 0. So this condition will also hold true. Now second case we assume case 2. So in case 2 what we will have is x plus 1 can be less than 0. So in this case what we have here is x square minus 2x minus 1. This time it will be greater than x into x plus 1 so solving this what will we get is x less than minus 1 by 3 basically this is just the same just opposite to each other now in this case x less than minus 1 by 3 is possible when x is less than 1 uh, sorry less than minus 1 because here we have x greater than uh, x plus 1 less than 0 so x will be less than minus 1 so basically x less than minus 1 and x less than minus 1 by 3 if we combine both of them x less than minus 1 is the uh, common part in both so here we will assume x less than minus 1 and here we will assume x greater than minus 1 by 3 so in these both conditions we will uh, combine both the cases and we will get the limit as x greater than minus 1 by 3 then we have union x less than minus 1 so basically this will be the value for x for this inequality to hold true now let us check our options so in options you can see option number a matches with our answer here you can see x is greater than minus 1 by 3 union x less than minus 1 so option a will be our correct answer to this question so here we have solved few questions from december 2018 paper now i will like to end this video here you will find more solutions for this paper in our further videos